hi guys welcome to kubernetes uh, tutorial series this video we will focus on uh, introduction to kubernetes kubernetes is uh, open source uh, platform for orchestrating docker containers the objective of kubernetes is to automate application deployments we can deploy applications into kubernetes with a single command it also focuses on auto scaling we can configure auto scaling in cluster based on certain metrics where kubernetes takes care of adjusting the capacity based on the throughput received by a specific service it also takes care of uh, maintaining the uh, cluster to have little brief overview on what exactly it does this is a picture where we see Kubernetes cluster having six nodes, one master, and for interacting with Kubernetes cluster, we have a Kubernetes client. At high level, Kubernetes cluster is composed of master nodes and worker nodes. Master receives instructions from Kubernetes client and it will issue those instructions to the node to perform a specific task in the cluster. For example, we want to deploy an application into Kubernetes cluster with four replicas. We issue that instruction to Kubernetes master using Kubernetes client. Master receives instruction from the client it does a scheduling a scheduling is nothing but it will find out nodes on which it has to create four replicas after finding out nodes it sends instructions to those nodes with details about the containers it has to create and those four replicas are created on the cluster kubernetes has a lot of features built in which makes our life easy there are many things which is automatically taken care by kubernetes cluster for example in a cluster a specific node fails then what happens to the containers running on that specific node it is automatically recovered by your kubernetes when there is any node failure master detects that and it will have the information about what containers are running on that specific node it tries to reschedule things and find out a node and create that replica on a specific node so like this we have lot of features which is built into kubernetes that we will be discussing one by one in upcoming videos